Warm welcome to everyone. I am going to give a session on and colony optimization technique, a search technique between source and destination to find the shortest path among the available paths. So it's an earned colony optimization, a search technique presented by me for the Salifa. It was developed by Marco Dorigo in 1991 in his PhD thesis when he was studying about five robots concept. It's a search technique to calculate the shortest path between source and destination. It mimics the behavior of natural and, and hence the name and colony optimization. It's the behavior of and when it goes for searching food from his its nets to the food. What are the techniques it follows? that is what we are going to see it helps in finding the optimized path between source and destination now coming to SEO concepts the first and wanders randomly until it finds the food source and then it returns to the nest playing a pheromone trial pheromone trial pheromone is a chemical substance released by the ant when it goes in search of the food it is being released from the tail of ant other end follows one of the path at random, also laying pheromone trail. Even other ants also lays this pheromone trail. The ant on the shortest path lay pheromone trails faster, make it more appealing to the future ants. The ant becomes increasingly likely to follow this shortest path. The pheromone trails of the longer path evaporates, as you can see here. Longer path is this one between food and the nest and this is the shortest path which got more pheromone trials and the longest path pheromone trials evaporates with respect to time you can say shortest path is discovered via pheromone trials now the key points or uh, that can be observed in this ACO is algorithm may have end nodes and arcs Two working modes will be there either forward or backward but pheromone trials are only deposited in backward mode now this is the algorithm at the beginning of search process a constant amount of pheromone trial that is a chemical substance is assigned to all arcs when located at a node i and and k uses the pheromone trial to compute the probability of choosing j as the next node this is what the equation says when NIK is the neighboring, uh, where NIK is the neighborhood of and K when in node I. Now, when the arc I, comma J is traversed, the pheromone values changes as follows. This is how the change in pheromone wa value can be seen. By using this rule, the probability increases. Forthcoming ants will use this arc. If pheromone is found with increasing probability, then there increases the probability of the path being followed after each and k has moved to the next node the pheromone evaporates by the following equation and this equation represents the evaporation of the pheromone iteration cycle involves and moment pheromone evaporation and pheromone dissolve this is a cyclic process which keeps on happening when and goes to the food and comes back from the food to the nest Pheromone evaporates over the time unless they are enforced by more and more ants. The small CDO code initial as trial, do while stopping criteria not satisfy a terminating condition and do until each ant completes a tour again a terminating condition. A local trial updates, pheromone trial updates is what we are expecting here. And do analyze tools, global trial updates, and it's just a pseudo code which represents the behavior. There are few applications routing problem, urban transportation systems, scheduling problems. You can see a mesh like thing over here. Now you suppose my transmitter or my source is here and my destination is here. In order to reach from source to destination, there are so many paths that exist, but I want to find out the shortest path. I can use this ACO to find the shortest path between this and this. SEO is used in wide variety of applications. It is used in networking, uh, smart grid, routing problems, whatever comes under routing concept, whether it's a communication, electrical, electronics, 
ACO is widely used. Of course, for every technology, benefits and drawbacks are there. Now, this one can be used in dynamic applications. Theoretical analysis is difficult. Research is experimental rather than theoretical. Convergence is guaranteed, but time to convergence is uncertain. Convergence is guaranteed, although the speed is unknown. Now, there is trade-off in evaluating convergence. Focus is on quality of solution, not time. Coding is somewhat complicated, not straightforward. Pheromone trials, addition, deletions happens, global updates happens, local updates also happens. Uh, limited to problems that can be simulated by graphs and optimal. Now coming to conclusion, with an AC algorithm, the shortest path between source and destination is built from a combination of several paths and marks the best solution and takes the account of previous marking to optimize the search. Inspiration from nature, but with smarter agents, ants are more smarter than expected. Ongoing modifications or ongoing research on ACO. Uh, people are wearing the importance of pheromones and finding out what changes are happening. They are playing around with your operation rate. They are adding time constraints and also adding obstacles. You can see here and as an example adding all constraints, obstacles between uh, nest and food. What happens? This is a normal path. When obstacle is added, no doubt a distraction will be there on the path but after some time it gets settled as we add more and more constraints there is more and more information available to make the right choice in the future these are my references which i have gone through for making this presentation and finally thanks for your patience for listening a small session on aco comments are always appreciable feedback is also appreciable thanks